Addition of integers. In this video, we're going to learn how to add two integers using a number line. A number line is just a graphical method of adding. It's like the x-axis of a Cartesian coordinate system with no y-axis. Let's try to learn this method with an example. Consider any two integers, say 4 and 5, and say we want to add these two integers. First, we have to find 4 on the number line. To add 5 to this integer, 4, we need to move 5 spaces to the right on the number line. So by counting each notch in the number line, we move 5 places from 4 and we get to 9. So, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 by the number line method. Therefore, to add an integer a to another integer b, we have to get to the point a on the number line and then move b places to the right. We can also use the number line to subtract an integer. What we have to do if we want to subtract an integer b from another integer a is to move on the opposite direction on the number line. That means we move b places to the left of the integer a on the number line. So basically, if we're adding an integer to another integer, we move to the right on the number line, and if we subtract an integer from another integer, we move to the left of the number line from that original integer. You should note that the sum of any two integers is also an integer. Let's look at another example. Say we want to add integers 2 and 3. Well, representing this addition on a number line, to add 2 to 3, first we identify 2 on the number line. That's two spaces to the right from 0. To add 3 to this integer, we have to move three spaces to the right of 2 on the number line. So if we move three spaces to the right of 2, it takes us to 5. So we can say that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. In mathematical expression, this would be expressed as 0 plus plus 2 plus plus 3 is equal to plus 5. And the plus is just there to indicate that we're moving in the positive direction, to the right. Alright, let's look at another example. Consider that we want to add negative 2 and positive 3, or minus 2 and plus 3. To add minus 2 and plus 3, first we need to identify minus 2 on the number line. That would be two spaces to the left from 0. To add 3 to this integer, we move three places to the right of minus 2 on the number line. So if we move three places to the right of minus 2, it takes us to 1. Therefore, minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. In other words, we started from 0, moved two spaces to the left for minus 2, and then followed that with three steps to the right for plus 3. And we ended up on positive 1, or plus 1. So in a mathematical expression, that would be minus 2 plus plus 3 is equal to plus 1. You should notice that minus 2 plus plus 3 is equal to 1, is the same thing as 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So we could have done this problem using the subtraction method, which is start from 3 and move 2 spaces to the left for 1. So let's look at that in another example. Let's find the sum of plus 3 and minus 2. So we start from 0 on the number line, move 3 steps to the right for plus 3, and follow that with 2 steps to the left for minus 2 and we get to positive 1. So plus 3 plus minus 2 is equal to 1. Or 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Now let's look at an example where both of the integers are negative. Consider the sum of minus 3 and minus 2. Representing this addition on a number line, we start from 0, take 3 steps to the left for minus 3, and then follow it with the 2 steps to the left for minus 2 and we end up on minus 5. So, minus 3 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 5. Let's look at one more example. Let's find the sum of minus 4 and plus 4. Representing this addition on a number line, we start from 0, take 4 steps to the left for minus 4, and follow that with 4 steps to the right for plus 4. We end up on 0, and so minus 4 plus plus 4 is equal to 0. 
So when you're using the number line method, there are some important rules that you should remember. If you look at this number line, from 0 to the left are negative integers and to the right are positive integers. The first rule is that the sum of two positive integers is always another positive integer. Similarly, the sum of two negative integers is always a negative integer. You should also remember that the sum of any integer and its opposite is equal to zero. You should also note that to find the sum of a positive and a negative integer, one way of doing this is to take the absolute value of each integer, subtract these values, and the result takes the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. So in this video, we learned a simple way to add integers using a number line. 